What's up, y'all? It is your girl, Yana, and I'm back with another episode of The Exchange. Yes, you heard it here first, The Exchange. I changed my name, and I know y'all like, girl, your name used to be The Talk. Now, what happened? Y'all, I got the name just by sitting in my editing and vid- video technique class, and I was just watching how my classmates and my teachers, they were just all communicating, like, everybody talking just at one time, just exchanging communications, and I'm like, no, I got to change my name to this, and I didn't spell it like the exchange like the way exchange normally spells i spelled the x c h a n g and like it looks so cute the way i wrote it out and shout out to my friend because she helped me with it she told me that it looked more exotic that way but yeah y'all i just felt like on my podcast we were just gonna be talking anyways exchanging conversation exchanging opinions so why not change my name all right y'all so y'all know i'm back in school or whatever it's gonna be the third week the first two weeks was hectic but it was cool like I said, like the first two weeks were hectic, just trying to get back to the school schedule. Like y'all, I literally have an eight o'clock every single day, Monday through Friday. I did want to do it, but it's like you got to do what you got to do to get out of school, to get where you want to be. But overall, like I was an orientation leader. So it was like, I really enjoy school. Um, we helped the incoming freshmen and it was like every event that we had was top tier. Like I enjoyed, like I said, the exchange, we were just communicating. I'm getting to know them. They're putting us in groups with Taurus or Scorpios or Cancers, Libras, all of it. So it was like, I'm figuring, trying to figure out who my birthday twin is. Sadly, there was not anyone in my group who was born on May 5th, but I had a lot of tourists around me and you know, we the best of the best, but it was hot y'all like it wasn't even the first week it was like the first week before i even got there so it's like like i said we had to help the kids out i'm moving people in and i'm not gonna lie i feel good about it It gave me a sense of joy like i'm smiling moving people in going up the stairs seven eight nine ten times not even complaining about being hot it just felt good to help but like i said it was so freaking hot when we were like starting and starting to play in the games like y'all i literally changed clothes probably like three or four times the entire week like i'm wondering why i had to wash so many clothes like y'all it was hot I had a great summer and i also feel relieved and really excited to be back in school y'all i had a great summer i went on trips with my friends what else i did i went and stayed with my best friend in new orleans while he was on his um internship and I really should have said, said this answer first, but I definitely got a better relationship with God. Shout out to my friends who was there for me through the summer to get me back on the right path. Like, man, God is real. And just having a relationship with him, top tier. Like, I have to stay consistent with it. And I got consistent with reading the Bible a little more, too, like towards the end of the summer. So I was really proud of myself about that because I learned some things that I didn't know, like, for real, like the true definition of it until I read the Bible. And you know what? It is tip time. (laughs) No, for real, y'all. I got to tell y'all how I got to where I got to, for real. Like, here, I'm not... I'm not where I used to be, and I can say that. So it's not, I'm not even gonna put no number on it, like, oh, I'm 75%. No, I'm not where I used to be, and that's all that matters. So, first thing I did, I prayed. And I know y'all probably like, what did you pray for? I'm gonna tell you what I prayed for, but I'm not gonna say everybody prayer should be the same because we're, we're not, you know, I'm not gonna say we're not going through the same thing, but people go through different things. But I pray, I pray for like wisdom, strength, understanding, because sometimes. I feel like I know everything and I don't, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm very hard on it and I'm trying to break those ways. Like it's either you, you agree with what I do, not just necessarily like agree, but you go with what I go with you, you this, you that. But when somebody not, uh, not, I'm not, I'm not even going to say just agreeing though. I don't know how I'm trying to put it, but it's like, I pray for understanding. I pray for patience. I'm still working on that. And he's still working on me with it because y'all, I do not have patience. Like I could literally be in a car going 80 and then 55 and a car in front of me in the left lane, they didn't slow down. But I'm like, I had to, you know, chill out for a minute. Like my stepmom told me, she was like, this car probably slowed you down for a reason. It probably could be an accident and a, you know, happen a couple miles down from you and this car got in front of you to slow you down for a reason like god he, he moves in mysterious ways baby um i asked him to remove toxic people out of my life and i saw that and i see a difference and i'm like oh you took my favorite friend you took my favorite boy you took my favorite girl but i asked for that i asked for that remove old habits like y'all even cut down on smoking the way i smoked because y'all your girl could blow a house down
um like i said i got a better relationship with god like with, without god like you're you're nothing and that's just that i used to think it used to be me getting myself through certain situations it was me but it was god i feel like having a relationship with god should be your number one priority number one thing on your book list number one thing on your checklist like it's him over everything and I just feel like if you lacking in that relationship with him, like I was, like, that's why your life going in a 360 or that's why things ain't going the way you think they should. Get a relationship with God, man. I'm telling you, he is the best friend that you can have, the best friend that you can run to and you know your secret's not going to get out. Get a relationship with God, y'all. I surrounded myself with positive people. Um, one thing about it, I could say I got a solid friend group and I really love that, like, we gonna pray together. We gonna do that work together. We gonna party. We gonna do whatever we gotta do together. And I like that about my friendship. Like I could depend on them. I can count on them. Positive people, positive energy. Because for one, y'all know I don't play about that. Like I'm not finna be in no situation where I feel like my energy off. Cause I gotta get on down. Like I gotta move around. So yeah, surround yourself with positive people. Um, like I said, I even took a break from smoking a little bit because I just felt like, hey, I'm hallucinating. Why am I hallucinating off some dope, some weed? I had to let it go for a little minute. Y'all, I literally got high one night in the bathroom and felt like I was finna die and had to go lay down. Like, I'm, I'm watching Chicago Med trying to make sure my heart ain't beating fast. So, take a break from all that if you're doing that drinking, too. Because, like, sometimes, y'all, we really could smell that in y'all pores. And that's not a good smell. That's not a healthy smell. Take care of y'all body. Balance. Oh, my God. You gotta have balance no matter what you do, especially a college student. Like, one thing I'm learning now, I could say I'm really learning the definition of balance when it comes to a college student. Because at first, y'all, I wanted to be at every event, every party, every off-campus event, whatever it was, y'all know was going to be there. Y'all her wingman scoop, um, we was going to be there. But this semester, like, your girl, I haven't been to one party. I haven't been to one party. The only thing I've been to was literally the week before school started, I was in the parking lot turning up not even just you know turning up how i usually be but i was i was vibing i'm gonna say that i was feeling the crowd i was enjoying it like it was it was real chill and it was real cool but yeah i just feel like i'm at that age now and i done did all the party in that school like i'm i'm just i'm sick of it i ain't really just you know i'm not really messing with it anymore so yeah y'all like the things to expect with my show um better topics because i feel like i was really giving y'all just a bunch of the shade room tea the shade room information i wasn't really giving y'all information that was coming from me so yeah better topics better interviews today i might slide in an interview with my girl alex and cash today just to you know give y'all a feel of how my show gonna be world issues because it really be like some some real stuff going on that we should talk about instead of always in the celebrity business all the time and i know some people probably think that's boring but no we educating you because there's some things that we need to know at this age like i'm 23 we need to know things like this we're not 16 anymore worrying about what money bag you and ari doing no we need to be knowing like what what the government doing you know we at that age now where we should understand those type of things and we're gonna talk about like ladies in sports y'all know i'm a basketball type of girl so i gotta give y'all a little bit of tea and matter of fact while we talking about ladies in sports y'all we got beat 14 to 40 41 one on whatever we got beat and i was real disappointed but my friend mama, she explained it to me or whatever and let me know there was different divisions or whatever. But I still just, she said it was even good the fact that they scored 14. She was like, basically like the way they play, Alcorn shouldn't even score. So shout out to our boys for that there. You know, I'm a rock with you. I'm a rock with you forever. I got you. But y'all, we got to win more games this semester. I don't like football, but I mean, that's my school. We at HBCU. I'm going to support y'all. I want y'all to win. I don't want to be like, oh, I'm ready for basketball season. No, I, I want this football season to go smoothly for y'all. So I pray y'all get y'all act together and, you know, y'all just kind of business. And we're also going to talk about like everyday struggles, um, just being a girl in general. So yeah, y'all, this wraps up the end of my show. I will be back with the next episode of The Exchange. And I hope you guys enjoy my video. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.